Tom, hey friend. Uh, nice job today. Continue to work on your precision picking here. Try to always start with the first string and try to make that accented. One and two. And, and then I think the best approach for you, and this isn't that important, but to double each note. Process both the right hand and the left hand information simultaneously. For your static scales, I want you to focus on, uh, for the major, focus on G. Very slow. Shift your hand up one fret. And then shift it back. Whoops, Jesus. You get the idea. Just keep it slow. It sounds bad, just stop, take some deep breaths, make sure there's no tension in your body, do it again a little slower. D, you want to start, the D minor, fo for minors focus on D and G, and start with your um, ring finger, not your second finger, like this. One, three. And I said in your book, in your practice, your assignment sheet, that you can do hammer-ons, and pull offs on each string. And you can also do trills, repeated hammer ons. And then you can bend the second note of any pentatonic scale, major or minor. So once you've mastered the D scale, move on to the G, which just has one open note. and slow. Okay, I want you to review your diatonic series. Three major chords. One, four, five, three minor chords, two, three, six. Review them in E. So my proper bar chords here. Okay, and review them in A. A. Say them out loud. B minor. C sharp minor. D. And finally, we talked more about the moving triads in E, um, what I call the traveling triads. So you can do your one, four, fives by sticking to the um, second, seventh, and ninth fret. Any one of these keys, that's how you get the one, four, five sound. The bluesier sound is the one, five, seven. Uh, one, the second fret, fifth fret, and seventh. And then you wanted to master doing the traveling, doing the diatonic triads in E with the major and the minor mix. So when you move to two, shift this up a whole step and then just drop your first finger onto the G string. It's the same as this E shape, but with your first finger substituted. to do your, um, your D-shape arpeggios, and what I said is keeping fingers down. Both fingers should end up down right there. And then the minor should always start with two and go two, three, one, four. Try to keep those fingers down on the top string. Etc. That's all, brother. Have fun.